Hello everybody, my name is Dwayne Sword and welcome back to some more Minecraft survival. Brick are really expensive. Uh, I've been collecting some brick. Um, I had to use this iron shovel because silk touch does not allow you to get clay balls, I don't think. Well, I know it doesn't let you mine clay, but I do want to use brick for the pathways over there. Seeing as this place is a little bit more refined than my treehouse area, I think a brick road works a lot better. Although we're gonna need a lot more brick for this. But while we wait for things to smell and finish up, I do want to go exploring. Uh, because we still have yet to find anything new from 1.20, like structures, biomes. So I think I'm gonna go east or west because uh, those are the directions I haven't explored much. I know spawn is this way, and the village is kind of that way. I think we'll go this way, just cause. Actually, no. I think this way, cause there's less mountains. Even though there's a mountain right there. <laughs> Alright, we are passing the village. Ooh, there's another ruined portal. Oh, there's a village right behind it. Alright. I think some pillaging is in order. Ah, that really had nothing good in it. Ooh, and there's a snowy tundra right behind it. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't think there's going to be anything too useful or 1.20-ish in the ice biome. So I'm probably going to avoid that and maybe try going the other direction from my base. <gasps> there's a little baby turtle here! Did that just happen naturally? How did... Can that happen? I did not know that. Wait. Is that true? Can they actually lay eggs naturally? That's, that's really cool. Alright, we're back at the village. And at this point, it's, it's, it just has to be done. We're killing an iron golem. There we go. Not even gonna look at the iron. Right now, I think we should go ahead and head east. I think this might be the smallest meadows biome I've ever seen. <laughs> First we find the smallest acacia, and now we find a me the smallest meadows. Another village? I didn't even know they could spawn in meadows. Oh, another village? Oh, and this one's really cool. This one's like on a mountainside. <laughs> Alright, we've come full circle. And didn't find anything, which is extremely disappointing. Uh, I do not know how seeds and generation works, but it's kind of upsetting. And I completely forgot about this, but I just realized that this existed. As we're coming, I trapped a villager, and oh no 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 my thorns. Okay, he's going to be my friend. It may take some convincing. But I'm going to befriend him in the future. And I also have some zombie piglins in boats. Alright, well, exploring was once again a bust, but we have more bricks. We can uh, finish this road, probably. Alright, and this is complete. I just need to uh, do that. And now I do want to add some little trees around here so no no gosh darn it okay all right now we have a nice path and actually i want to uh i'll keep this um i'll try to figure out how to link this up to everything else in the future right now i think i want to work on getting more villagers Alright, seven lecterns should be enough. I also got a ton of wood so I can get some emeralds and I would also like some extra books. Alright, fire aspect, that's a little expensive, but I'm going to do it because uh, I need it. Alright, we've locked it in. Now we just need a lot more villagers and to do that many more times. Okay, that is insanely cheap sharpness four. I am 100% taking that. Now, I think I'm gonna leave these for now um, and work on those later. I think now we saved these guys for an iron farm. 
which I think that's what we're gonna do right now, actually. Now, one thing I would like to do before I begin building the iron farm is purely for the way it looks, I'm going to build a retaining wall of sorts in front of this lava. All right, I have a wall and now to just decorate it. I accidentally typed war on the sign while trying to escape. That's, that's great. Yeah, that definitely make it look more clean. So I think now we can get into the iron farm. All right, a couple things before we get started. I got a new microphone, so that's cool. Uh, it is on a boom arm and I do not have those uh, thingamajiggies <laughs> that like make it not vibrate. So hopefully it's a little bit bearable, but yeah. Um, Replay mod has also come out for 1.20 uh, while I've been waiting and procrastinating making this iron farm. Um, so yeah, uh, we also have this nice little flatland. There was just this tiny hill just dug up in a second, really close to the house. So should be ideal. So let's get started. All right. So we've got all the materials here for it. Although I do want to get all the villagers and the zombie in place beforehand. So that way it's not a hassle while I'm making it just for convenience. So I'm going to do that. I think I saw it. Nope, that was the water. Maybe it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. There's a zombie. It's actually a decent bit of distance away, which is quite annoying. Oh, crap. Wait, no. This is not good. Alright. <gasps> Gosh! <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm... okay. Right. I need to take off the thorns. And hey, maybe we get the, the the armored zombie. That way we don't have to worry about the sun. Oh no. Stop! Oh my, it's riding the boat as well! You know what, I think right here itself is a good enough spot for it. It's got its shade. Right next to where we're building. Alright, now we need to do the simple task of getting villagers. All right, all the villagers are in place. Now we can start building the farm.
All right, I think the farm should be ready. There's just one last thing we need to do. All right, we just use some ladders to get up here because I took down the bubble elevator. Because, well, I built a bubble elevator um, because villagers are annoying and that's, that's the best way I could think of to get them up outside of staircase and stuff. Uh, which block do I break? I forgot. <laughs> Alright, should be this, this, and then this, and then we quickly remove all of this. And now this should all work, hopefully. Yes, okay, wonderful. That is amazing. Alright, let's see if collection works. Yep, but how did this grass get through the lava? Oh yeah, also there's a lava pool down there, which I found, so I, I didn't try to block it off because that was fun. Anyway, um, yeah, now we have a working iron farm. It looks kind of strange. Maybe we'll fix it in the next episode, but I did realize I found something in my chest. Here, an iron horse armor, and we'll take the name tag too, because I'm going to name my horse, um... Cause I still don't have a name for it and I've been using it quite a lot. All right, sticking to the Pokemon team, we're, theme, we're gonna name it Rapidash. Um, Radit, okay, I'm, I'm not good at spelling. <laughs> uh, there we go, that's probably it. Uh, I would go Mudsdale, but I actually have no reason for not going Mudsdale. I just feel like Rapid, uh, it could go, I totally could go Mudsdale, but I already used the name tag, I can't go Anyway, <laughs> um, I would also go Glastrier and Spectrier, uh, which are the legendaries for that link with Calyrex, but therefore that would be saying I'm Calyrex and I do not want to be Calyrex because, yeah, that, I think that's reason enough. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the uh, horse armor. Oh, it's lagging. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is good. Okay. With that being said, guys, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one.